Good afternoon, Poké Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium video, bringing you a Grassy Surge Rillaboom team. We're running the Boom Balloon combination with the Rillaboom and Drift Blim. I am super excited to try this out because honestly, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Now, the the, the core of this team is definitely the Rillaboom and the Drift Blim. I did take some some uh, similar Pokemon to my Ndidi Drift Blim team. Like I'm bringing back the Dracovish and I'm bringing back the Bisharp. But I'm also adding some different Pokemon, like Primarina, like Arcanine. Maybe Arcanine can actually be a Cinderace in that slot, now that I'm thinking about it. But we're going to go for Arcanine here, just because Intimidate's nice. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First team we're going up against actually has an Espeon. Very interesting. Actually, like looking at this team, I'm, I'm actually pretty confident just bringing Rillaboom and Drifloom here. I don't think I have anything to worry about. And on top of that, I could also bring my Dracovish and not have anything to worry about. And even my Bisharp and have nothing to worry about, except for the Conkelder. Uh Bisharp doesn't like Conkelder too much. But yeah, I think that could be that could be like an easy four. I could just like go ahead and bring Rillaboom Driftblim as a lead, then Dracovish and Bisharp in the back. This team doesn't really threaten me in terms of intimidation. It does threaten me in terms of that Sylveon, but I should be able to KO the Sylveon with my Bisharp. So we'll see how this goes. Now this is actually a max speed, max attack, adamant Rillaboom with Life Orb. So it's its main goal is to do as much physical damage as possible. Uh, weaknesses this team does have is to intimidate leads because Rillaboom is obviously a physical attacker. It does rely on doing damage. In situations like that, you could always just set the terrain and then switch out. There's many options at that point. But uh, leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe to the channel for Rillaboom. Okay. And Didi Espeon. Um, I don't believe I have to set the Tailwind, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. Because I'm fast, so might as well, right? Now, we just have to see... Can we... Oh, actually, we're going to have to change it back to... I guess we don't have to change it back to Grassy Surge. But it would be nice, but instead, I think I'm just going to go for the max darkness onto this Ndidi here. And then set up my Tailwind. We're already faster than this Ndidi anyway, because we set the Surge up before he set his Surge. So this Tailwind isn't 100% necessary. It will help us outspeed this Espeon later on, though. And if we're able to Oko the Ndidi here, then that's really nice. I don't think we'll be able to get a flat Oko. Simply because Ndidi has very high physical uh, defense in terms of like the most common EVs for Ndidi are physical defense. Just like max HP, max defense. But I have faith in Rillaboom. Goes for follow me. That's expected. That's why I didn't want to go for Shadow Ball. I might have to ally switch this next turn just to avoid an incoming attack from this. Um... I actually don't know what this Espeon wants to do. Okay, cool. Clean Elko. And we're going to be able to lower the special defense of the Espeon for this upcoming uh, Shadow Ball. Perfect. We can also set the terrain back up to Grassy Terrain. That's nice, too. It's for Psychic. I can think I could... Oh, I don't take that well. But I do take it. Huh. Sends out Tyranitar. I'm trying to think of options. I could just go for a max darkness into that. Yeah, I could just go for max darkness into this Espeon. I don't believe Espeon has very high special defense. I mean, physical defense. Um, yeah, let's do that. And I'll strength sap this tar this Tyranitar. We'll just lower some of the, the attack stats it does have. I could go for... The max overgrowth on Tyranitar here, but I do believe this Tyranitar is going to Dynamax, and that's just giving it a free weakness policy. I don't want to do that yet. If I could salt this Tyranitar's Dynamax, which it is going to Dynamax, without giving it weakness policy, then I've done my job. Because then I could easily come in with um, Drake Vision, clean it up too. It's not a worst case scenario. This is going to be Strength Sap Spam. 
Nice. Got it down to negative one. I'll see if I'm able to Oko with Max Darkness. Max Adamant. Yes. Easy Okos. Loving it. Rillaboom. This is how you make an appearance on Pokesports, man. This is how you do it. Boom Balloon. Max Steel Spike coming out into... Okay. Not even going to knock me out, but it's going to raise his defenses. I have nothing but physical attackers left, so that's a little bit problematic. He might be able to set up the plus three defense, which could be very, very annoying. It is going to be extra drill as the last. I do believe we still outspeed, and I can go for... I think the Max Quake is the best option. Followed by... I'm going to Shadow Ball into Excadrill too. I'm double into Excadrill here on the off chance he does have a Sash. Serantar's already at negative one, which is nice. It's probably the only reason I was able to live that Max Steel Spike. Yep, Shadow Ball's going to connect. Awesome. This should be bye-bye Excadrill. Oh, Excadrill's not speeding. Goes for the rock slide. It's going to hit the Rillaboom. That's a little sad. That's a really fast Excadrill. But granted, I am adamant, right? Oh, wait, no. I think I like extra drill outspeeds. So that just guarantees that it's, um... What's that move? Oh, that strength sap helped so much. For that dark, uh... Max darkness. That just means extra drill is... Sand rush. Which is kind of expected at that point. Um... I think our play is Dracovish with Scarf in the Tailwind. We should be able to outspeed and KO this Excadrill. And then I'm going to Strength Sap this Tyranitar here. So one more Strength Sap just for good measure. You really never do know. <laughs> Gotta really make sure this Tyranitar is not doing damage. In order to feel a little bit safe. And also, we get all of our health back with the Drift Bloom, too. It's only good news. Oh, jeez. I love that restoration. <laughs> Vicious Fan's gonna connect. Bye-bye, Excadrill. Nice. Now I have this negative two Tyranitar on the field at plus one defense. Probably gonna set up... No, I'm gonna go for another Max Rockfall. Interesting. I thought he was just gonna keep going for Steel Spikes to try to set up that defense, at least. But it doesn't look like that's the case. And thankfully now that Tyranitar's Dynamax is going to end. My Tailwind does Peter, but it shouldn't matter to Tyranitar. Alright. Simple last turn. Ficious Ren. And Strength Zap. And that should be battles cancelled. Boom! Balloon! Such a good start off to a new team, man. I love these starter hidden abilities. Okay, we're seeing some funky Pokemon. We got a Roserade here. I respect the Roserade, but it looks like the rest of the team is kind of slow. So maybe a fake out first turn will... Maybe fake out first turn plus... Plus just Dusclops coming in. I think he has to set up Trick Room here. Could also be Dusclops and Togekiss, which, which would be really annoying. That's essentially giving him Trick Room for free, and there's not much we could do about it. Um, let's lead differently. We're, I still want to bring Rillaboom in the back, but I think I want to bring Bisharp Primarina as the lead, because it deals with a good chunk of his team. Very solid chunk. Um, I'll bring Rillaboom, and then Bish... No, I remember bringing Bisharp. I think um, the Balloon could still be very clutch here. Actually, let's just let's just go ahead and leave with Rillaboom and Drift Blim. We'll bring R Bisharp and Primarine in the back. I don't know if I'll Dynamax the Rillaboom here, but I definitely at least want to bring it for sure. I don't have any ways of hitting that Togekiss. That's the issue that I'm looking at right now. DJ is a scary team. I'm not gonna lie, if he gets uh, Trick Room up, I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem. 
but I trusted my balloon. Dustclops and Lapras. That is fine. I think I definitely... What do I do in this scenario, dude? Do I go for the Lapras? Try to Oko it? And then risk dying to max residence? Or do I just double into Dusclops? I can knock off Dusclops. Oh, if only I led, um... If only I brought Bisharp with me, then that this would have been a super easy KO. If I just knock off Dusclops and go for a Shadow Ball, I don't think that's enough. Actually, it might be. Ooh, risky. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna ignore this Dusclops for now and just double into this Lapras. I'll ally switch just in case they do go for the residence on the Rillaboom. I'll at least have it go for it on the Drift Blim instead. I think losing a Drift Blim at this point of the game is a little better than losing a Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom actually does threaten the team a lot. Also, Rillaboom best design, Grookey Gang. Hashtag Rookie Gang down below if you guys are Grookey Gang. Is gonna Dynamax Labras? I I'm assuming, because that's a Master Ball right there. It's M for Malapras. This should Oko unless he ally switches. I think. Lapras is tanky, right? There's the allies. Oh no, that's me. Never mind. La yeah, Lapras is tanky. So I think max overgrowth, life four, max attack, adamant in the grassy terrain. That's a lot of stat boost. Gigantamax gone. Woo! Boom, balloon. Hashtag boom balloon. Does get the trick room up. We're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, I think removing a Gigantamax Pokemon turn one is more relevant than setting up Trick Room. If you're gonna ask me, they don't even have any screens up, they have nothing. We just had to take that trade there. We found the counter to Gigantamax Lapras, boys. It's Rillaboom. It's been Rillaboom all along. Send out Togekiss. We actually can't hit that. Especially if it goes for Follow Me, but I don't think it's gonna go for Follow Me. Um, let's try to be a little bit annoying. Actually, I'm just gonna try to chip away at this Togekiss. Actually, I'll try to... Chip away at Dusclops and ignore this Togekiss for later. They can't Dynamax, so... I mean... Let's max Darkness into Dusclops, followed by Shadow Ball into Dusclops. Dusclops goes for Willow. We avoid the Willow. We're getting a little lucky here. Goes for Heat Wave. Gonna get the super effective attack on the... And a crit, probably. Yeah, double crit. Ugh, that is 100% scope lens. We'll deal with that later. We'll just try to get rid of this Dusclops for now. Since he actually did activate the Trick Room, I'm going to get the special D-drop before I get the Shadow Ball off. Because my Drift Blim should be the fastest thing on the field right now. That's actually pretty funny. So this should be Oko and Dusclops. Nice. And... Barring any crits, which he probably will hit a crit because he has scope lens and it is 50% chance. We should be able to take one more heat wave if it's not a crit. And thankfully Tokus doesn't get any health back from the grassy terrain too. That's kind of nice. And Kelder's coming out here. Alright, I think I need to ally switch this turn. Yeah, let's ally switch since it's priority. We could still use it. And let's go for max overgrowth on Kinkelder and hope Togekiss doesn't follow me. Kinkelder will probably take one. It won't appreciate it though. It'll definitely be hurting. But the reason I'm going for ally switch is because Kinkelder is probably gonna wanna they're probably gonna wanna double in. Go for heat wave, go for drain punch onto my Rillaboom just to get, you know, a lot of damage off and you know take it out without having to rely on a crit. But if I ally switch and he goes for the Rillaboom, then that means the Drain Punch will be going into the Balloon instead. Goes for Ice Punch into the Balloon. Okay, that's fine. 
Because we are going to live it because we have plus one defense, baby. And then air slash also into the balloon. Yes, that was a very clutch ally. Balloon, you did your service. Much respect. This is max overgrowth in the terrain with life orb, with max attack. Can Kelder cannot take it. Boom. Balloon. <laughs> Okay, this lead is kind of disgusting, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go with, with Primarina because it's the slower Pokemon that I have left, so why not? And, uh, yeah, this is Togekiss versus the world now. Rillaboom doing some serious work. I'm gonna knock off just because why not? Actually, I guess my highest damage output is still the Word Hammer. It's not very effective, but at least I get the terrain boost. I think uh, Hyper Voice is good here too double starters on the field here not from the same generation but oh i'm actually under speeding the toe kiss that's nice i'm not negative speed investment i think i actually have 76 speed it's gonna get it's gonna finally get rid of the rillaboom rillaboom didn't get to attack so sad at least not that turn he did more than enough in the other games nearly okoing the whole team you know what I really like about this team compared to the Indeedee Drift Blim? Is that since there's no Psychic turn on this team, this Bisharp doesn't have to worry about just going for Sucker Punch. Even though I think Iron Head is better. Just because I have Focus Sash anyway. And then just Hyper Voice. Even though Hyper Voice should be enough to take it out. GG. Dude, I can't- Guys, I can't even fathom how much I'm enjoying this team. I forgot to mention this earlier, but there's a rental code at the end. So, stick around, and you will see the rental codes. You can try this out on the ladder for yourself. Okay, another Gigantamax Lapras, so... I feel super confident knowing I can Oko it, so that's really nice. I think Rillaboom Drift Blim. Rillaboom Drift Blim, every three battles, you can't beat the Boom Balloon. Um... That, uh, Dragapult is screaming, Hey, bring the Bisharp, so let's do that. And I think last should probably be Dracovish. We didn't bring Arcanine in any of these battles, it's okay. We'll bring Arcanine another another day, maybe. Who knows? Arcanine just doesn't do well here. It would do well against the Conkelder, but that's a clear body Dragapult, and that's a mirror armor, Corviknight, so eh. Not too necessary. And then it just goes down to Max Geyser from Lapras. Granted, if he does bring Lapras, we should be able to just straight Oko it. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if I regret my decisions later on. So far, undefeated with Boom Balloon. If you guys are using any of the hidden ability starters, and if you guys haven't already subscribed to this video for Boom Balloon, please do go ahead and do so. We're so close to a thousand. Greatly appreciate it here at Pokey Sports. Um, but yeah, if you guys are having a lot of fun using any of the hidden ability Gen 8 starters, please do let me know down below in the comment section what you guys are running and what the team is looking like, because I'm curious. That is a Dragapult, that is a Mimikyu, that is a problem. Okay. My first instinct was to be like, okay, Oko Mimikyu, no trick room happening today. I think this is going to be a Shadow Sneak onto his Dragapult and then trying to KO, you know, something on the field. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Dynamax. Max Nar Darkness into Dragapult, followed by Tailwinding. And uh, the way that my Drift Blim is actually set up is that I'm able to outspeed Dragapult with my Unburden Boost by one speed IV. Did that on purpose, guys! So I will be getting this Trick Room up before that Dragapult will be attacking. Unless it's Choice Scarf. That's the only scenario that I'm not EV'd for, because it's impossible to EV for. And I'm pretty sure that with Tailwind up, I should be outspeeding this Dragapult with Rillaboom, and then going for this Max Darkness, which should be doing a lot of damage. Let's see it. Rillaboom, I can't wait to Gigantamax! Tailwind's happening. Please outspeed. Yes! Max Darkness! Big damage onto Dragapult. 
Not enough. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's a little bad. Oh, wait, it's not. It's not. Oh, it's not weakness policy. Oh, but max floater by is gonna hurt. Actually, not too much. Okay. I'm okay with that. And Mimikyu didn't go for um. Is it gonna trick room? No, just went for Shadow Claw. Oh, fine. I have plus defense. I could take one of those. I could totally take one of those. Um, what do we do now? Do we just Shadow Ball that Dragapult and hope it's enough? This is definitely a physical Dragapult because it went for a U turn. I think Mac Darkness again is our best option to Dragapult, followed by. We'll break the disguise on the Mimikyu. Maybe double into Mimikyu. Mmm. I really want to double into Mimikyu on the off chance he decides to go for Tail uh, Trick Room this turn. And like Max Garden with Dragapult. Even though if it has U turn, it probably doesn't have Protect. I might have overthought that, but I do want to just KO this Mimikyu here. So we'll break the Mimikyu's neck. And then go for the straight up overgrow overgrowth onto Mimikyu. He lowered the special special attack on my side of the field, which only matters for Drift Blim. But I don't know, Drift Blim's not meant to be a special attacker anyway. Mimikyu's going down. Beautiful. Awesome. Dragapult will be able to KO something, sadly. Max Flutter by again. Alright. Interrelum again. Okay. We live in at 14! Okay, Rillaboom's trying to impress the fans. I see you, buddy. He's trying to impress you guys. Look at that. That's with zero investment in defenses. Zero investment in HP. <laughs> Just straight speed and straight attack. We're able to live two max flutterbys from a Dragapult. Not bad at all, dude. Brings that Incineroar. Oh, that's a little sad. That's okay. I think we have more than enough attack right now to get rid of the Dragapult, right? And I could Strength Sap and be annoying with the, this Incineroar. I think what I just want to do is uh, this Dragapult probably doesn't have Protect as so U-Turn, so it's probably Choice in some fashion. Let's just go for the cleanup onto the Dragapult. Even a Fake Out from an Incineroar shouldn't be enough to KO my Rillaboom at that health. He could Fake Out just for the damage, but I don't think it'll be enough. And then let's go for Strength Tap onto Incineroar, lower the attack, get some, uh... Oh, it is enough. Feels bad. This might be a double KO for my opponent. Which I think I might be okay with, we'll see. See how much health I get back here, if it even will be a double KO. A lot, cool. All of it, I got all of it back. Goes for the Phantasm. Plus one? We live in! <laughs> Not bad. Drift Blim is staying on the field. Oh, it is going to lower my defense. So my defense is back at neutral. Dragapult is getting too much health back and I don't like it. Um, it is now time for Dracovish. Dracovish threatens the whole team. Hello. I'm a fish. Sadly, I don't have Crunch on this Dracovish. But I have a move called Ficious Rend, which should definitely Oko Dragapult at that health. And we are going to keep... Actually, I think going for... Yeah, I'm going to go for the Strength Sap onto the Dragapult just for the health. I don't lower the stats if it's clear body, but I do get all of my health back because he should be max max uh, attack here with the U-turn. Yep, there it is. Mostly all of it back. Ficious Rend, and goodbye. Cool. As long as I can keep this Drift Blim around on the field for one more turn, I get this Tailwind back up. Goes to the Lariat. Uh, my defense is at neutral now. Let's see. But you're at negative one. Beautiful. Drift Blim ain't going down, man. And that Tailwind is guaranteed next turn. Because I still didn't lose my speed from turn one. And you can't mock Punch me. So that's incredible. This cat can't go anywhere. It probably doesn't have protect. Let's just rend this cat. 
Actually, I don't have to. I don't have to tail in here. So let's just strength set the conk. We'll start lowering his attack now, or her attack. Sorry, conk. Um, nom 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 nom. And we get all of it back. Disgusting Pokemon. Why don't you guys believe me when I say Drift Blim is so good? Nobody believes me. They're like, Kevin, why are you using that trash? It's the balloon, dude. It's so good. Goes for the Drain Punch, but you know what? It might be all she wrote here. This is going to take longer than it should just because there's grassy terrain. Oh, never mind. I take it all back. And it is Flame Orb, so it does have Protect. But by protecting, he's just going to waste another turn. So let's just double into this, boyo. We'll lower the attack just to make sure even a Mach Punch can't KO my Bisharp. Just going to keep going for the Strength Zap. Especially now that it's Guts burnt. We're just nullifying the Guts here. Followed by Fish's Friend. And goodbye. Rillaboom and Drift Blim. The Boom Balloon com Combo. Stopping by here on Poke Sports and proving to everyone that Rillaboom is a force to be reckoned with, especially with Drift Blim. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, you guys know what to do. Like and comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for that triple win. Not bad. We don't get triple wins often, but when we do, they feel really good. <laughs> Let's actually check our rating after that one. I'm a little bit curious. Since I got you guys for a couple more minutes. We start off 257. We are going to communicate. 190. Alright, so we peaked top 200. Not bad. Not bad at all. If you guys do want to run score for this team, here it is. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um and if you end up using this team, come back and, you know, write in the comment section how well you're doing with this team. Or even join our Discord and talk to us there at Pokesports. Uh, links to all that stuff is down below in the description. I'm Kevin. This is Pokesports. Have a great night. Peace out.